If you want to know how to make an anti-auto clicker for your Roblox game, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. In this tutorial we're going to be making a simple anti-auto clicker. It's going to be pretty easy, you can customize it whatever you want. And it's just going to be pretty easy. Um, I've been gone for a while, for like posting two videos in two weeks or something. For, sorry about that, got some things going on in life of course. Uh, still student, etc. So, yeah. Anyways, we can uh, start off. If you are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And uh, if you want to become a member, click the blue join button for some epic perks. And let's continue our video. First of all, you see like workspace player. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to go to start your player. We're going to start our player scripts. We're going to insert a folder called anti-auto click. Clicker. We're going to insert a local script in that. Actually, let's make it another folder called executors. We're going to put this one in over here. It's going to be the main. Just main. If you want, you can close it up. Now we can do. We're just going to zoom in. Click this way. Local. Local maximum clicks. Or you can do local max clicks. Uh, PS. Local maximum clicks per second. And that's going to be 15 for this. I'm going to be using an auto clicker myself. Or maybe not. I'm just going to do. F Let's do three clicks. So you can click three times or one second. And else you're going to get kicked. Local kick message. Is equals to. You can, you can do whatever you want. Local SMG actually. What we're going to do is just. Lol you got kicked for auto clicker. Noob lol xd as lol. There we go. Now we can do local PLR. Oh whoa. Local player. Is it the game? Call on get service. Players. Dot local player. So then. Local UIS. Is equals to game. Colon get service user input service. So what it does is just detecting uh, It's just a service for buttons, etc. Now we can do UIS dot input begun colon connect function of course Can get our cute little functions We could do Let's do key if key dot uh, user input type, of course, because the uh, key code is for two, uh, uh, keyboard and user input types for mouse. So if key to user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot mouse button one. As you can see, mouse button one is like your left click. Mouse button two is your scroll button, and mouse button three is your right click. Just so you know. So if this is the case, the clicks. The clicks are going to be plus equals one. We're going to give you one click. Local clicks is x to zero. We're going to start off with zero. To then make it very simple, while wait one, or while wait one do, prints clicks per second. And that's going to be dot dot clicks. Like this. Because um, clicks per second. Every second, we're just going to clear it out. To detect, yeah. Clicks is equal to zero, and over here we're gonna simply type if clicks is above the max clicks per second, then player call on kick, and then SMG. This is a very basic anti auto clicker, but uh, just how it works. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to the output. As you can see, clicks per second one two. In case we click three, uh, well, two times, and if we click one, two, three, boom, we're gonna get kicked because, um, uh, we got kicked for auto clicking. Well, in this case, I'm not actually auto clicking. We can do player dot name got kicked for auto clicking cps dot dot clicks. There we go. What you could do is just detect if, if if it's above three and then kick the player. But the best is just to detect show five. So I think I can I think I can click five times in a second. 
let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, there we go. As you can see, that is a really easy anti-click. What you could do is implement a warning system, and then if they did, then uh, just just giving warns, and at the third one, you're gonna kick them. So to do that, you could do local warn one, six to zero, local warn two, six to zero, and local warn three. Oh well, what you could do is just local warns six to zero, and then you can just copy this, delete it. If warns is six to zero. Well, first of all, you want to do this, and then over here, if warrants is equal to zero, then warrants plus equals one. And you're gonna give him one warrant. Else, if warrants is equal to one, then warrants plus equal well warrants plus equals one, and else if warrants is equal to let me see, you're gonna get kicked at three warrants. Else if warrants equals to 2, then warrants plus equals 1. And else if warrants equals to 2. The, so if it's at 3, you're just going to kick the player. So at 0 warrants, you're going to count 1 up. Let me just do print warrants. There we go. So now we can implement this warning system. So if if you're uh, if you have zero warns, then we're gonna count one up. If you have one warn, we're gonna count one up. If you have two, you're gonna count one more up. And if you have three, you're gonna get kicked. And I think this is going a little bit wrong because I believe if you would click very fast, you're gonna get kicked for oh. Oh, that actually works, as you can see. So let me just see. Okay, we now we got one warn. Now we got two warns. Now we got three warns. Yep, and now at the second, we're gonna get kicked for auto clicking. And if you, if you wouldn't do professional anti-cheat, you well anti-auto clicker. Kicked. You can just do something like that. Just to keep it easy. Let me just do warrants. And then change it. Uh, as you can see, this works. Let's play. As you can see, now if we click very fast, warrant, two warrants, three warrants, and at the last, boom. Or kicked. So this is a little video on an auto clicker anti thingy. Uh, if you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Newbie, and I say peace out.